In today's deep dive update, I'm excited to reveal a massive wave of newly surfaced, exclusive information surrounding the highly anticipated Sony A7 V, a next-generation hybrid mirrorless camera set to be officially announced on December 2nd at 3 p.m. London time. And this release is shaping up to be one of Sony's most important drops in years as the company attempts to reinforce its lead in the full-frame mirrorless market dominated by creators, filmmakers, photographers, tech reviewers, and professional content producers who rely on reliable autofocus, cutting-edge sensors, and uncompromising video specs. And while the original leaks already set the internet buzzing, the new details emerging now make the A7 V even more compelling especially for sports shooters, wildlife photographers, action creators, and enthusiasts wanting an affordable yet highly capable speed machine in the Sony Alpha ecosystem built around E-mount lenses and advanced processing engines that continue to evolve with AI-driven performance. Today's expanded rumor dump includes both exciting confirmations and one expected limitation, but overall everything points towards Sony positioning this camera as a true powerhouse in the mid-range category, effectively bridging the gap between the A7 IV and the A1-A9 series, offering performance that wasn't expected in this price bracket, and introducing features that make the A7 V a more future-proof investment for photographers who want high-resolution stills, rapid burst speeds, and next. Gen autofocus tracking powered by AI, deep learning, and real-time subject recognition technology that Sony has been refining since the A7 RV and A93. Early internal discussions from reliable insiders indicate that the new 33-megapixel partially stacked sensor will be capable of delivering 30 frames per second using the electronic shutter and 10 frames per second using the mechanical shutter, all while maintaining the full width of the sensor for 4K 60p with absolutely no crop meaning creators will finally get a true full-frame oversampled experience without the compromises of previous Sony bodies like the A7 IV which introduced a frustrating 1.5x crop at higher frame rates, the A7 V seems designed to eliminate those bottlenecks, offering a cleaner, more uniform workflow for videographers who want consistent framing, faster readout, improved rolling shutter performance, and cleaner low-light output thanks to deeper processing and refined noise management algorithms. One particular detail that has sparked intense discussion is the new report claiming the A7 V can shoot 30 frames per second in 14-bit RAW, something even Canon's 40 frames per second mode on the R6 Mark II cannot do because Canon drops to 12-bit when using its high-speed burst mode. If Sony truly delivers full 14-bit RAW at 30 frames per second, this will be a monumental leap in the mid-range market and a serious advantage for wildlife shooters capturing birds in flight, motorsports photographers freezing high-speed motion, and any creator who needs both speed and maximum color depth for editing flexibility, dynamic range, and highlight recovery. While the buffer length may not match the extremely deep buffer of higher-end Sony bodies like the A1, Reports say the A7V's buffer will still be more than sufficient for action and sports photography, especially considering the price is expected to land around $3,000, less than half of what Sony charges for its flagship models, making this camera a potential bestseller throughout 2024 and likely deep into 2025 as demand ramps up and inventory may remain tight through the holiday season, meaning Pre-ordering early will likely be essential for anyone hoping to receive the unit before Christmas or early January. Another major feature now confirmed is pre-capture, a function only available on select high-performance bodies from Sony's competitors until now. This allows the camera to record frames before the shutter is fully pressed, enabling creators to capture fleeting moments even when their reaction time isn't perfect, and this alone could make. The S7 V a go-to option for wildlife shooters tracking unpredictable animals, football and basketball photographers covering fast transitions, or general users who simply want to ensure they never miss a decisive moment. Autofocus performance, according to sources who have handled early test units, is astonishingly responsive because the A7 V incorporates Sony's new AI processing unit which performs focus calculations 60 TIM. ES per second and significantly improves human, animal, bird, vehicle, and eye-tracking accuracy across challenging environments, low-light conditions, erratic subject movements, and complex backgrounds, 
This places the A75 in direct competition with the Canon R6 Mark II, and early indications suggest Sony may even pull ahead in overall autofocus intelligence. Although real-world testing will ultimately determine which system performs more reliably in practice. The camera will also support composite RAW, similar to the A9 III, allowing the user to combine multiple exposures and improve image quality, reduce noise, and expand dynamic range. An impressive addition considering the A7V's mid-range price. One disappointment, though expected, is the absence of open gate recording, a feature Panasonic and Canon have embraced in their latest cameras, allowing full sensor readout for more flexible aspect ratios and cropping in post. Sony has decided not to include open gate at launch, but insiders say this is a software limitation rather than a hardware one, meaning Sony could potentially enable open gate videography through future firmware updates, something Sony has become much more generous with. Lately, as seen with massive updates pushed to the A1 and A9 III earlier this year. The A75 will inherit the revised articulating screen design from the A7 RV, along with an improved EVF, dual USB-C ports, 8 stops of IBIS, and the familiar ergonomic refinements found in Sony's latest generation of Alpha cameras, combined with intuitive menus, customizable function settings, and a rugged body suitable for travel, documentary filmmaking, wedding photography, sports arenas, and everyday creative use, this makes the A75 well-rounded for all types of content creators in today's fast-moving production landscape. When comparing the A75 versus the Canon R6 Mark II, the differences may come down to workflow preference, lens ecosystem, and specific use cases rather than dramatic spec-based wins, since while Canon may retain an edge in video with its 6K and 7K oversampling pipelines, Sony's autofocus and raw burst advantages could lead many mid-range users to choose the A75 instead, especially photographers who rely heavily on Sony's enormous E-mount lens catalog, including third-party options from Sigma, Tamron, and Viltrox that offer more flexibility and better price ranges than Canon's more restricted RF lens ecosystem. Ultimately, based on leaks so far, the A75 appears to be one of the most balanced and competitively priced hybrid cameras Sony has released in years, offering speed, resolution, advanced focusing, improved video, oversampled 4K with no crop, excellent stabilization, composite RAW, pre-capture, a weather-resistant body, and future-ready hardware designed to take advantage of firmware improvements in 2025 and 2026 as Sony continues refining its AI-based autofocus engine and internal codec. Optimizations for creators who demand professional-level features in a compact full-frame design. As the announcement date approaches, excitement is building rapidly, and if pre-orders surge in the first 24 hours, as expected, anyone wanting this camera for holiday shoots, New Year events, travel photography, or client work should secure their order immediately to avoid waiting until late January or February for restocks, because limited initial shipment quantities have already been mentioned by insiders familiar with Sony's production timelines. With all current information considered, the Sony A75 looks ready to become one of the most influential mirrorless releases of the next year and the moment official details drop. We'll finally see how much of these leaks hold true and how this camera reshapes the mid-range mirrorless battlefield for professionals and content creators worldwide.